has she says hi to me. Hi Willow. Hi Grace. <laughs> Even Sam says hi. She she said hi to Sam when Sam walked in, you guys. I walked in and she said hi and then Sam walked in and she said hi. She's such a princess. She knows, she knows who feeds her. Anyway, good morning, welcome to today. Don't mind my hair, I'm not ready for the day yet. It's a rainy day out there. Rainy, but kind of warm still. Maybe she wasn't saying hi, maybe she was saying, give me the darn food. Stop enjoying yourself. Oh, there you go. Man, she's a, such a good drinker. There you go. Look at her from yesterday. All that sweat turns into that. Like, I don't know if it's her winter coat that I am seeing. Her hair does never lay down smooth. Never, oh my goodness, I brushed it after, but... Oh, then she rolled. That's what I'm seeing. But look at that. Like, see how that goes like that? Her hair never lays down nice. Tell me all about it, friends. Tell me, explain to me. She's just like a, a dirty horse. And not in her stall. She's not super dirty or anything. But she's always got dirt on her face. Always got dirt on her mouth. Always. And she's always covered in stuff. She's messy. She's, she's my heart horse. She's my soul animal. See, this is the part I don't understand. Well, I mean, it's crusty from sweat and... Yeah, you like that, huh? She likes it. If you ever wonder where our cats are in the morning, all you need to do is look at Ruby. Ruby will point the way, always. They're up there somewhere. Right, Rubes? You see them? Oh, good job. I love a man fixing a fence. It's my favorite thing. I love a man working. I'm not gonna lie, I love to see a man working. I work hard. I'm a hard working woman. Rot Molly! Molly poops in the arena every single day. I need to tell her not to do that. That's not, she was just outside. You poop outside in the grass, not in the arena. That's the most annoying thing. Oh, I mean, that's not the most annoying thing, but that's a bit annoying. Anyways, welcome to today. I'm just waiting for Sam to fix the fence, and then we're gonna let out the beast. Sam is home today. It is Remembrance Day. And you guys know what Remembrance Day means in Canada. Remembrance Day is the day before you put out all your Christmas stuff. So after today, we will be doing Christmas. He says, let him out. Let him out, he says. Just do it all by yourself, he says. Actually, I've done it before all by myself. Penny actually hangs out with me when I take her halter off in the morning. She's always like, wait, am I getting a treat for this because I'm such a princess? So I don't never have a treat for her. I don't like to give her too many carrots, too many treats. Let's see if I can get her now. Penny! Pen! Penny! Hey! You coming? You coming? Oh, that's a girl. That's a girl. Little treat for you. Tiny treat because you're just too treatable. Wait, uh-oh. <laughs> See those ears go back and I'm like, what's happening? And it's you, you're happening. Penny is all talk, no action. No action, she just has a big bite, like a big growl. She pins her ears flat back, but she doesn't do anything. Gracie's like, but I love you too, I'll take a treat. All right, so Sam's gonna do chores and I'm gonna go do chores in the house. The problem is, is that everything takes so long for me because I have the house and the barn. So when he's home and he takes one, it's just so much easier for us, for me. It is dark and dreary, don't mind me, I'm still not ready for the day. Uh, so today in homeschool, Gabby saw something on TikTok and was like, I'm gonna do this. And I was like, yeah, let's do it in school. I'm doing it. So basically she saw where people bought little Christmas towels and made them into Christmas cushions for your couch. So we decided we're gonna do that for homeschool this morning. Sophie has these gorgeous snowflake towels and she's making an oblong rectangle shape I guess is the right shape and she's making her pillow Gabby's over here she's making a smaller pillow a square one and it's gray and it's got a snowman um, Santa Santa oh it's got a Santa on it oh, super cute yeah okay so Sophie so Sophie is doing hers do you guys remember do you guys remember when uh, when Finn was a sheep for Halloween, well, we have all that batting left over. 
and sewed for the sheep stuff on. Oh my gosh, that would have been so easy, but we didn't have enough time. Our life is so crazy. Remember, I bought a new horse like a few days before Halloween. Okay, keep going. I want to show you how to turn corners. And then I'm going to go get ready for the day. All right, Sophie, my sewer. You might be thinking, Laura, you don't sew in school. Well, in homeschool, you do. We learn lots of different things that are useful in a society. Like, if one of my kids decided sewing was their thing, they could grow up to be amazing and do amazing things with sewing. It's a skill, and that's what life is about. Life is about using the skills that you have to make money so that you can live and enjoy. I'm going to show you guys. So we, we started out sewing along the top seam. We used that as a guideline. And then Sophie took over herself. And you can see the skit stitching did not go perfectly aligned. It doesn't matter. She thinks it doesn't I don't matter. care. Yeah, well, we don't care if it's perfect. This is your first try. I'm not in, like, school. You are in school. School allows you to make mistakes. Yeah, it does. And we, it has puppies. Because we learn from mistakes. And Every puppies. mistake is just an opportunity to learn and something. And sewing machines. All right. In school, they probably wouldn't let us use In high school, machines. some high schools have sewing machines. All right, okay, let's keep going. All right, Gabby is sewing hers. We got three. I'm going to sew one, too. Sophie's on the filling part. She's filling hers up. Hold it up so that people can see what your pillow looks like already. Kind of looks like a Santa sack. But yeah, so this is, you got to make it so that it's not overstuffed. And oh, then I'm overstuffing it. Oh, she likes an overstuffed pillow. But anyway, so when it's done, it'll have the uh, rectangle-shaped pillow at, for the couch, and it'll have snowflakes on one side and snowflakes on the other side. Don't twist it. All right, good job, girls. All right, so Remembrance Day is over. We just, Sam and I just had our a couple of minutes of remembrance for Remembrance Day, and we are now headed out. I left the girls home so in a way uh, and getting ready because it is riding day for the boys. And today, Sam is gonna take them. I'm gonna try and get a bunch of work done at home. I have like cleaning, I have like so much stuff that I have to get done. So, plus I wanna ride, because it's my riding day for Penny. Every day is a riding day for Penny. It's rainy and wet, so I'm hoping to ride her in the arena, but anyways. Um, my whole point is that when a lot of you guys got to see the GoPro footage from my ride on the Pasofino horses and to say you guys were shocked that I could like ride that much is to say the least and that's why when I rode Penny on my trial and you guys were like oh my gosh you should get that horse because you're actually riding for the first time ever it's because I actually spend four other days like eight hours riding the Pasofinos through those trails doing the exact same thing that you saw me doing in this video and so that is why I was able to get on top of Penny and have confidence and know that I could just go and ride because I've been doing it I you guys just haven't been able to see it which is which sucks but anyway also about the saddle I just wanted to tell you that I'm still looking I spent hours and hours and hours going around and around and around trying to find the saddle also with the trainer I find in my life how always how the way my life works and I wonder how many of you guys are the same is that I put it out there what I need what I want I continually look and try and figure it all out and then God puts it in my lap at the exact right time just like he put God penny in my lap at the exact right time so uh, there's training coming I know God is sending it to me and there's a saddle coming when it's not the right time I just keep on hitting roadblocks I know a local lady that's been on our channel before that that does natural horsemanship and I've tried to contact her 15 times and for some reason every time I send her a message it comes back to me I cannot contact her and I know and I've done it so and I've tried so many times and I always know that that's God saying it's not the right time it's not the right time you have to wait you have to wait so everything will happen this has to happen in the natural progression of things all right we are here at the barn oh, it's all wet in here maybe they washed the floor all right and there they are is that Tina right there oh no where's Tino storm is there Finn is there Chino is missing Chino is missing sorry Gabby you have to go hunting yeah, we'll have to go hunting. Maybe uh, Storm knows where Chino is. 
Storm's walking away. He's by his other friends way over there. Can't see because of the sun. But Chino is right over there. Standing, meeting with his other friends. There he is. Storm is Storm is meeting up with him. Telling him, uh oh, you're in trouble today. I think I think Storm just said, Chino, let's go. Because Gabby's coming. So now they're taking off into the woods. And Finn smart, he stayed with the hay. His friend Gary's on that side of the field, so he has to stand over there. Chino's friend is Gary now, so he's... Hey, Ben. Hey, how you been? Get ridden today. Oh, look at your feet are all muddy. Alright, so we're going to try a different saddle on Chino today. Right, Chino? I'm gonna try a different saddle on you. This is Storm's old saddle. The one that we bought with Storm. With Storm was my very first saddle. Yeah. We'll see how it works. Alright, are you riding inside or outside? What? Outside. Outside? All right, we're ready to ride. All right, we are up and ready. What? Yeah, good idea. Pooping near the bucket. Awesome. We are up and ready to go. Is that saddle more comfier? Yeah. It is more comfier. That's weird. That's like a 300 only like a three hundred dollar saddle. I know. Three hundred is more comfier than a seven thousand. Hey, bro, don't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Sophie's trotting away there, doing all this exercise for Finn. And Gabby's still here working on her stirrups. <laughs> hey, I haven't ridden in the saddle in like two years. Gabby's still fiddling his, her stirrups, and Sophie's trotting up a storm. Let me see you in. Hey, girl, will you marry me? Two kids in a house and live happily. So meant to be But she says Wait, you forgot something Every good thing comes to an end At least it always happened to me I'm telling you this now You don't need to worry Cause I got this all down And we'll get all together And we
decanter more, but I'm not really that much in love. I guess it's a comfy seat. Um, this saddle is really slippery. It's not as grippy as mine, so I actually have to hold off if I like. Because I like the ranking, and I know that he needs my rollers first because he's not listening to my leg. Oh, so you need. So you're getting a workout too then, that's good. No strip November with stirrup. Um, I think Finn's ready to canter. Alright, canter. Finn's ready to canter? Yeah. Alright. That's some fast canter in there. We don't sit well with my gut. It's so strange, I'm not holding my tongue. Radio making me feel so numb. Stolen beats there on repeat. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. It felt really slow. It didn't look slow, it looked really fast. Whatever. You should try and slow it down a bit. Look at you know it's canter. To jump higher. I need it higher. I think it needs to jump higher. Better. Too well, Finn's getting excited. This is only a little half X there to get Sophie up to it and then we'll be raising it. Raising her up. more time and then we're raising it up to a vertical. He left you behind. Better. You gonna jump it? No. I'm just gonna cancel one Do you want a half X? Someone wanna be, wanna be, wanna be someone. Don't we 
So we bought these little buckets we brought in. Keep on all of them. We're sorting it all out. We have these little buckets sorted all out. We need to bring the third one in. Well, I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, so Gabby, Gabby cleaned up this thing. Gabby cleaned up this tack room, and now we got our water in the corner. We got our new bins all nice, neat, neatly organized. Saddle pads on our bins. There's Kaylee's side. That looks good. We could have bought another one of those bins and put it in the middle. For extras. Yeah, there it is. Looks good. Thanks you clean. Good job. But then there's just enough room to put treats in that bin. Yeah, now Gabby can reach her saddle easily. Looks good. Don't you know that you're beautiful?